Welcome back to our Liberty House. My name is Lucas and this week we're at my parents' house and we're gonna go over this cattle panel fence we built for them. And if you checked out our video from last week on our hog wire fence, this is an upgraded version. You're gonna need a few more tools, a little bit more time and a little bit more money, but as you can see, it's totally worth it. It's a functional and beautiful garden fence. Kind of go over some of the construction of this fence. We used redwood four by fours and redwood two by fours, and then 16 foot cattle panels that we got from Tractor Supply and then cut them. One of the big differences between this cattle panel fence and that hog wire fence we showed you guys last week is that these cattle panels are inset into the structure of it. So it makes it very sturdy. It's not gonna get pushed off by your dog or just you bumping into it where the rolled wire is just stapled onto the fence. So this is inset and we used a router and a router table to create these 3 8 inch grooves that we were able to set the cattle panel into. And like I said, makes it very sturdy, functional, and it's pretty. And we, and we used less wood product by using the router because other than that, we'd have to build a bracket. Like if you guys see our garden trellis video, we bracketed the wire in and this time we inset it. And it's just as strong, less wire, less material. All right, so with any fence construction, we gotta set our posts first. And we recommend you set your post about four feet apart. And then the depth is really depending on where you live. If you live in a non-freezing climate like Northern California here, we went down 18 inches and that was plenty. The fence is sturdy, you can see plenty. But if you live in a freezing climate, you're gonna to have to get below your frost line. You don't want your fence post to heat. So that's gonna determine how uh, long you need your posts. We're gonna router them. And we gotta router them before we set the post. And that creates this first inset here and then they're gonna be on each side. So once we get our post set, we're gonna do the bottom plate. And the bottom plate down here is same thing. We're gonna router it before we uh, install it. And then we're gonna pocket hole in using a Craig jig, pocket hole in these screws to kind of keep it hidden. You know, and that's, that's gonna be the base structure on three sides. And then we'll set our panels center panels you don't need any staples you don't need any securing ways to get this cattle panel in it just it, it secures itself you create a picture frame for your cattle panel okay so we bought these 16 foot by 48 inch cattle panels and we are going to use a angle grinder to cut them you can also use bolt cutters um, but we like the angle grinder because it's a little quicker make sure you have hearing and eye protection on and then we're just going to cut them to size and so we measured each and every one just to make sure they were right and cut them all to size before we set them. Here we've got the three sides of the fence set and now we're going to start wiggling our wire down and it's going to be tight. Uh, you're just going to have to wiggle it back and forth until you get it down. And that's something I want to note when you're cutting your wire to height, you're going to want to leave, make a half inch taller because you want a quarter inch of the bottom to go in the bottom rail and then you want to leave about a quarter inch above the post so it insets into your top bar two by four. And that way the wire is set on all four sides, enhancing the frame and the structure and the tightness of it. And then here we're just gonna tap it down with a hammer and get it in all the grooves. And you're gonna tap it in a couple different places. And then once it's set, it'll be set hard and it'll be set good and it's not going anywhere. The last step of finishing this fence is to set your top bar. And really you're just laying as long of a piece as you can get across the top, screwing it in. And use string level, make sure everything's level before we set these posts. I should have said that earlier. Um, and really it's, it's a pretty simple project. You know, if you're having pretty long runs, like you can see this run down here, I think was like 14 feet. 
um, to be really picky when you're at the lumber yard. And right now it's, it's tough because lumber is a hot commodity, but you want a nice straight board. Be picky about your boards because also it will make your routing easier. If you have a big warp board and you're trying to route the bottom of this, um, you're gonna kind of have to dance that line. It's really, you just created a picture frame for this cattle panel. Um, and one of the big highlights, if you've watched our garden trellis video, we used one by one pieces of redwood to inset this wire. Since we used the router on this um, design, we were able to use less wood and less uh, cost, and it looks prettier, it just looks cleaner. If you don't have a router and you don't wanna invest in it, uh, don't wanna rent one or learn how to use one, you could use that same concept that we have in our garden trellis video where you create a picture frame inset with uh, one by ones and you still don't have to secure this wire with anything because um, you're just creating a frame for it. So just for the gate build, uh, what my dad did was created just an angle bar, routed it on both sides and then traced out the wire and cut it. So this is a nice heavy duty gate. You. Um, probably don't need the crossbar, but it does create like a nice aesthetic um, for your gate. My dad chose to have this nice garden arbor um, able to grow up. It's kind of a nice like entrance into the garden with a gate here. Um, and the same thing with this is we just inset it with the router, cut these and put them down. You can do this project in um, probably a full weekend if you had all your supplies and you kind of had everything measured up and you worked um, day to night basically but it took us you know a weekend and a half to finish it two weekends really Just like that guys, we built a fence. Thanks for watching today. If you guys like this kind of garden DIY content, give us that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Check out our channel. We've got garden fences, garden boxes, compost bins, a ton of different garden DIY content. Uh, hope you guys inspired to build a fence just like this. It's not that hard, it's easy, and it'll be a beautiful addition to anybody's garden. Thanks for watching. And all the splashing is because there's three Labradors in the pool having the time of their life. <laughs> now it's time to get in the pool. <laughs>